your film Footnote. Um, it's your, uh, your fourth feature film. Um, how do you feel like you're finding your voice as a director? Is this an exciting time for you? Yes, I think, I, I think I'm getting better from film to film. I hope I'm getting better. And uh, the, the film's about a, a Jewish father and son who are competitive. Um, despite it being a, a Jewish film, which is maybe niche to a certain extent, is this a universal story? I think, I think the answer I'm supposed to be giving is yes. Um, and I think there is a universal core to the story. But what makes me proud of, of what's on screen is how specific it is. And it's, it really is extremely specific in, in the nuances of these characters and the world in which the story takes place. And um, you've, you've written the script yourself. Um, are, there, are there challenges when you're doing your own material as compared to somebody else's as a director? Could you maybe tell us about that? I, I haven't directed anything that I haven't written. So I don't know what that would feel like. But um, tr truthfully, I think the only reason I have authority on this set is because it was my idea to begin with. I see. And um, what's it like to bring your film to the BFI? So I'll, I'll have a better answer for that after the screening. I, so, far, so far, it's OK. And I, I like London. And, and this is, this, I mean, the festival is screening some great films. And I'm happy to be part of those, of those films. But I, I still don't have a sense of who the audience here is yet. And um, talking about uh, going into the screening, how do you feel when you screen the film for an audience? How, how, how does it go down? The first few times, you're very, very nervous. Uh, now, I, uh, I mean, it, was, it premiered in Cannes about four and a half months ago. And since then, I think I, I've learned a lot about how, how people respond to it. And, I expect it to be pretty much the same here.